What's up, guys? So my name is Corey Barrier. I am the sales CEO. And today I want to talk to you about how to uncover pain. What do I mean by that? So people generally either move away from pain or they move closer to pleasure. But typically, human beings are quicker to move away from pain than they are pleasure. So if you're selling your product or service and you're talking to your customer about the pleasure it's going to bring them, then you're missing half the half battle, right? So half the battle is showing the customer or client where their pain is, right? Why they, why are they sitting talking to you? Is it because they're competi your competitor, uh, you know, maybe they're with your competitor and your competitor didn't do their job? Or is it that they are growing so fast that they need help or they're going to drown. Or it could be that they have holes in the boat and they need to be plugged, right? So here's a good example. Think about this. Um, I'll, I'll just tell you a quick story. We went and took my daughter to have her checkup not long ago. And when we did this, uh, we had her blood drawn and all that good stuff. Normal checkup, right? The next day, I got her got a call from her doctor that said she had had a really high uh, blood sugar count when they pulled her blood work the day before, and we needed to take her to the hospital so they could treat her with insulin, essentially. And I said, "Well, you know, she's she's sleeping. Should I wake her up? Because I mean, she's not doesn't seem like she's in pain." He said, "Well, you know, look." <laughs> I said, what, what's the normal average? He said, well, it's between 70 and 100. Well, so if you're telling me it's five, so, so the number he gave me was 560. So if it's between 70 and 100, and then if that's normal and, and hers is at, is at a 560, then that means that she is five, essentially almost six times what it should be. So the pain there is, not knowing what may happen if we don't get her blood sugar down, right? So the doctor, you know, typically a doctor goes through a, a list of questions. Why are you, why'd you come in today? Why are you, you know, are you coughing? Are you sneezing? You know, he goes through this laundry list of questions, right? And what he's trying to do, he or she, is trying to drill down to what's causing you to come in to see him or her today. And which is called pain, right? And you do the same thing in the sales process, the exact same thing, same thing. So what you want to do when you're talking to your customer or client is you want to make sure that you're asking the right questions. You're asking, well, what what will happen if you don't do anything about this? You know, what has this cost you in the past? Or what is it costing you to not make this move, right? Here's an example. I, okay, so if I'm having a conversation with, a digital marketing guy. I get on the phone, he gets on the phone, ring, ring. And he says, you know, hey, you, know, you ever thought about doing, you know, a funnel? I'm like, no, I, I, I want nothing to do with a funnel. I don't understand it. I don't know anything about it. So therefore, I don't think it's for me, right? And so the digital marketing person comes back and says, hey, you know, here's the thing. While you're sleeping, you could be automatically sending emails to your 80,000 person email list, drumming up business. Essentially, digital, what digital marketing does, it's a, it's a tool in your toolbox, right? It's no different than um, your sales skills or your, if you're, if you're in the trades, it's no different than your tools that you take to work, right? I mean, this is what you're going to need, you're going to want in order to get the results that you're looking for. So when you're digging for pain, <clears throat> usually the customer or client is going to tell you what that pain point is, why you're there to see them, right? Now, if you sell copiers and you go in to talk to your customer or client about your copying service or your copier, then, th then there's, there's a few things that are apparent. One, either they need a copier or two, they, uh, their copier is breaking down or three, um, maybe their competitors just not uh, doing what they're supposed to do.
you know, what they've been contracted to do. So that means that they're calling you for a reason, right? They're calling you for a reason. And the reason is not just to have a conversation with you. The reason is to find out how much you charge for whatever it is you're talking to them about. And so what you have to figure out as the salesperson is you have to figure out, well, what is it that they're really asking me for? What is it they're really wanting to know? And some of you may think, well, it's price. Well, it's not always price because I will tell you, I mean, if, if price was the, the only thing that mattered, then, you know, nobody would go shop anywhere other than Walmart, right? Because Walmart, as we all know, is the cheapest uh, place to go buy groceries or household products or whatever. So you have to figure out what the problem is. You have to figure out what the reasons are they're having you come and see them. And then you the financial impact, right? You have to understand what it is they're losing or what it is they want to gain, right? They're personal. Like they, they, there's always a personal tie to whatever you're selling. Um, and what I mean by that is if, if whoever you're talking to, right? If, if it's the CEO or the CFO or whoever makes decisions, CEO, these people are put in place to help make decisions for whoever they are under, right? And so it impacts them personally. And if, your product or service could help the company, then, then the person you're talking to looks good, looks good, right? That only makes sense, I think. Um, so you want, you're, you're going to want to dig for pain. You're going to dig for why is it that they're talking to you? Why They're not just wasting time um, having a conversation with you because they have nothing better to do, right? You're there to solve a problem and produce a result and if you can do that then you'll win the business right now you don't want to do all that in the pain step pain steps really just the first thing right um or one of the first things but the pain is what people are most likely going to buy your product or service to fix right so um you know you have to look at pain as you know, it's just like if you cut yourself and you're bleeding, then you know you need to wipe the blood off, put a bandaid on, stop the bleed, right? You want to stop the blood from coming out of your body because you know that you can bleed out, right? Even if it's a paper cut, you still psychologically believe that you could bleed out if you don't put a, ble- a bandaid on there, right? And, and that's a simple example. Um, so in your conversations with your customer or client, you want to ask them questions that's going to really in, evoke that pain point. And you have to really drive that home. And let's just say it's, you know, uh, well, let's just use my coaching, for example, right? Whenever I have a conversation with somebody about sales coaching, it's either their numbers are down, right? Or or their sales teams not performing where they need to perform, which still comes down to the numbers, and and or they maybe they don't have a sales process, maybe they don't have any sort of process outlined for their you know their salespeople. So what does that look like? Well, then that makes the owner look bad because the owner didn't provide the education, so his salespeople could provide their education to the customers. And so, um, anyway, so on that, um, you want to dig for pain. You want to find out what the pain point is. And, and you don't want to paint the picture of how many copies the copiers got to make, right? Because people don't care about that. They care about whether it's going to work for them. They do care about the price. And they care that you, the salesperson, are going to be their guy. And that's what they're worried about. They want to make sure you're on their team. They want to make sure that when they pick up the phone and call you, you're going to be there. And that is, that that's really what it boils down to. And if someone keeps asking you for price and price and price before you have the opportunity to explain what you do or what you sell, then that, that customer is not your customer because they weren't in the market to buy from you in the first place. So it, they're just price shopping. Right. And if, and if prices, if that's the only thing that matters, then I know for me in my industry, I'm not the cheapest. So if, if it's, if it's solely based on price, 
don't hire me because most, or don't, let's not even have a conversation because usually, not usually, but sometimes um, people will come to me with an unrealistic number they want to pay per month. And, and I'm just, you know, I know what my worth is and, and, and I know that I'm not going to work for less than what my worth is. Okay. So, um, and, 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 and I can circle that right back around to pain, right? I, I know what my worth is. I know what I offer people and the pain of offering at a lower price is not worth it to me, right? The pleasure of offering it, well, there is no pleasure in offering at a lower price unless you just need to get clients in, right? So anyway, um, so here is this quick segment is on pain and, and how to dig for it and what to dig for and what questions to ask. So just ask better questions. How does that affect you? Tell me more. You know, here you go. There it is. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this. You can follow me at salesco.co. You can also find me at Corey Barrier on all the social channels. Um, if, you'd if you like this video, drop a hell yeah at the bottom of the uh, of the the comments and let me know that you liked it let me know and if you know somebody that needs to hear this share it with them and i'm going to continue making these videos and putting content out thanks guys